morning. As you can probably tell, it is very early. The sun is just starting to peek in through my front windows. Um, but I did, first thing this morning, get permission to take PTO today. So I have painting to get done. I need to get my stairwell and my hallway finished. And things are just, like the whole weekend was busy. This whole week is gonna be busy trying to get the painting done in the evenings while I'm also doing like deep cleaning and just prepping like cookie doughs and figuring out serving platters and all of the planning that goes into hosting <coughs> a family event. So I was like, I just don't know when I'm going to have time to get the painting done. So I decided to take PTO to do it today. So that is the plan. Um, I need to go sort through my paint supplies. I know where like rollers and brushes are, but for the stairwell, it's a little bit different. Unless you actually have scaffolding to reach the ceiling, you can't paint that by hand. So I have like one of those little like trim edger things that has like the little rolly balls on the top and then it's a pad. And I really don't like using those. I feel like they do kind of a crappy job. They leave streaks and sometimes paint will get on the rollers and end up on your ceiling. And I just don't really care for them. But for a hallway, if you don't have scaffolding and you're not gonna hire somebody to paint it for you, that's pretty much the only um, option that you have. So I have to go find, I know I've got a pad in my little bucket with all of the other like pads and brushes and stuff, but I need to find the actual like thing that the pad attaches to and then the extension pole that screws into that. So I need to go locate those things because if I can't find them, I'm probably gonna have to go buy some. I know um, the actual little rolly thing itself, I don't even know if it's mine or it's Michael's anymore at this point. I can't remember because we did Michael's house and he used one too. And I don't remember if he borrowed mine from when I had painted the stairwell or if I borrowed his, I don't even remember. But at any rate, so I need to track that stuff down and see what I can find and potentially make a store run if I have to. I obviously just got out of the shower too. Um, so gotta, if I do have to run to the store, I'm gonna have to dry my hair, but I'm hoping I'll be able to find everything and get this started. So let's uh, have some fun watching me paint. <laughs> All right, I found this, but I can't find the extension pole. And my guess is it's probably at Michael's house because, <sighs> gosh. Yeah, I think even since the last time I would have used it was when I painted my exterior, <clears throat> which was in 2021 or 2020, I can't remember for sure, but it's been at least a couple of years anyway. Um, I So my house is brick, but like my front porch, my soffits, and then at the ends of the house, like the peaks, the eaves, I guess is what they're called, all of that, and then my garden shed too. Um, all of that is either wood or it's like the old siding from the 60s that needs to be painted. Um, and I had gotten a quote to have somebody paint it for me and it was gonna be $1,200. And I'm like, okay, there's not really that much to paint in, in all honesty. So I'm just gonna do it myself. And so I went to the Habitat for Humanity Restore and I found a five gallon bucket of exterior white paint for $25. And so I bought that and I painted it myself. But that was the last time I would have used the telescoping extension pole. And so I'm betting it's probably at Michael's house, but he is at work today. So I can't have him look for it for me. And I could go over there, but I don't know for sure where it would be. And so I think I'm just going to go and pick up another one. And then we'll both have one and <laughs> don't have to go back and forth with it. Um, but I'm going to run and do that. And that means I'm also going to have to get my hair dried and then change because I don't want to wear my sweats out in public. Um, and pick up those supplies. But then when I get back, I should be ready to get started. <laughs> the one benefit to having thin, fine hair pretty much dries in five minutes. <laughs> Great news, I just found out that Menards is already open. Actually, both Menards and Lowe's are already open. They open at 6 a.m. So I am gonna start the car, get it warmed, and I am heading that way. I just left Lowe's and I got my extension pole and some spackle and <clears throat> I bought some of the like mesh fiberglass Tape, which kind of stinks because I had to buy a whole massive roll of it when I need like a square about this big to actually fix what I need to fix. But anyway, now I'm done and I'm going to swing by the bank really quick because I need to pick up the cash for the boys for Christmas, which I'm not worried about getting big bills. So I'm just going to stop by the ATM and get some cash out for them. And that will conclude all of my Christmas shopping. I was supposed to do it this weekend and I completely forgot what we were out about. So 
since I'm swinging that direction anyway, I'm just gonna hop in there and do that and then head it home to get this paint project started. So this is the hole in question. And what happened was when I bought new towel bars and stuff, cause the old one just, I think there was a screw stripped in it if I remember right. And it wouldn't stay, it kept falling. This thing kept falling out and I finally just replaced it. But when I went to drill a hole for the screw, the, I don't even know if you can see this on camera. Let me, so you can probably see that that's like, flappy in there still. So these are plaster walls and I don't, I don't really know how in the world because I don't feel the little wooden slats like normally plaster has. And this feels very, very thick. So I don't really know. It doesn't feel like drywall. I don't know if there's some sort of a plaster board, but anyway, when I went to drill the screw into this, like the whole thing just ripped off of the back and a big chunk fell down into the wall. And so now I need to fix this. And I'm hoping to be able to just break this little piece off and then put the actual tape inside and pull it forward to stick it because this is very smooth. And I know if I put the tape on the outside and cover it, no matter what I do, there's gonna be a little bit of a hump here. So we will see if I can make this work. All right. Gosh darn. I can't believe how big of a chunk just broke on this. I don't, I don't know. Like this is very thin right here because this is where the piece like fell off into the wall and then the rest of it's really thick. So I just don't know how I'm gonna get that fiberglass tape to stick on the inside, but I might have to put it on the outside, but let's see. All right, I just know before I even start this that it's gonna be a fail, but I'm gonna try it anyway, just so I can say that I did. But let's, let's see. <laughs> yeah. I already lost it. I knew that was gonna happen. So if it was nice and like perfectly flat inside this hole, I think it would have been fine, but it's just not gonna happen. And this kind of makes me wish that I had bought, I got the mesh because it has the hole so I could like stick something in it to pull it forward. But now that I know I have to put it on the front, I wish I had the stuff that looks, it almost looks like masking tape, but it's just, it lays flat and it's thinner than this stuff. So, but it is what it is. I'm going to have to use this and I'm going to have to like it. Hmm. Well, I thought I had my little spackle thing in here, but I don't see it. So I'm going to go track that down. All right putty knife, which I just called a spackle thing. I swear I've been doing this. Like my ex-husband and I bought our first house when I was 19 and we had to do a lot of remodeling in it. So <laughs> I've been doing this kind of stuff for 19 years now. <laughs> I swear I know what things are called. For some reason, my brain just doesn't like to work half the time and I forget the names of stuff. I don't know, but anyway. All right, thin layer to start with. Once that's good and dry, I will sand it down. You can still see the mesh through it, but um, if you've never done any kind of drywall repair before, you don't wanna get the mud very thick, which this technically isn't even mud. It's fiber reinforced spackling compound for large hole repair. I didn't wanna buy a whole thing of drywall mud just to do this one hole. And technically we have some, but it's out at the farm because we are working on the cabin 
And instead of buying just a thing of the actually pre-mixed mud, since we have to do the entire inside of the cabin, we just got the powdered stuff that you have to mix yourself. So anyway, this is what I'm using, but you want to start with light layers and then sand and then just build the layers because if you get it too thick, as it dries, it's just gonna crack. So, um, so this is definitely not as quick as just like throwing some spackle in a hole, like a nail hole and calling it good. But we will slowly build this up, get it sanded down and I'll have to try to sand it as flat and smooth as I can possibly get it and then paint over. The only time I like to snuggle with Mama is first thing in the morning when she wakes up. The rest of the time I'll just lay on the couch behind her. But in the mornings I like to lay on her and get all the pets. Good morning. It is a lovely chilly Tuesday morning. The sun is trying to come up and Rosie also says hello. <laughs> but it is about 7 15 I have to start work at 7 30 so I've got just a few minutes to chat real quick and tell you kind of the plan for the rest of the week um I'm probably going to start today on my lunch break I'm going to get just a couple of things done I have my desk that usually sits back here is in my office and my office is small and you know it also doubles as a workout space so it's just feeling cramped and cluttered so I'm going to go ahead and move the desk out. I use that as a coffee station whenever I host um, family events. Um, and this is the first year that I've had to actually put it away because used to I had a um, love seat here and then a chair there. And then my desk was um, over on that wall. Whoop. There we go. That wall. Um, but now that I have the chairs set up where I have them, 
I can't have the desk there because I wouldn't be able to walk past there. It would take up too much space. And so I used to put the Christmas tree where this is and I would just slide it down to the corner of my dining room. But anyway, because of the new layout and everything, I've decided to put the Christmas tree here. There's nowhere in here to put the desk now, so it's hiding in my office, but I'm gonna pull it out. Just put it in front of my front door. It'll be fine there for the next week. Um, and go ahead and at least get the coffee station kind of set up and everything ready to go for that. I may start kind of getting out some platters and setting them on the counter in my kitchen. Like I have a little window in my kitchen, which you would have seen already while I was painting and my little Christmas tree is sitting in there. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and maybe get out some of my platters and set there um, just to kind of be ready. But other than that, I probably won't do much until the end of the week. I'll need to make sugar cookie dough probably Thursday night. And then that way by Friday night, I can bake it because it needs to chill for at least two hours, but I'm, I'm good with making it the day before. Um, I just don't want to be rushed to do it all Saturday morning because when you have to chill it for two hours and then you roll it and you cut it and then you bake it and you have to wait for it to cool and then ice and decorate it, it's just very time consuming. So I want to make sure I have those done so that Saturday morning, all I need to do is decorate the cookies and then they're ready to go. Um, but that's pretty much the plan. I'm not going to go too crazy with any cleaning or anything because I do have two teenage sons living in this house. So if I clean too much early in the week, then by Saturday, whenever everyone's here, it's just going to be dirty again. So I'll probably save most of the stuff for later in the week. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and just get a couple little things kind of situated today. Um, there won't be a whole lot left to show you in this vlog, unfortunately, but we'll uh, pick back up probably Thursday. So have a lovely day. Santa, I've been good this year Make your list and check it twice I'll leave you a note right here Underneath the Christmas lights Carols and bells Okay, cookies will go here on the day of Sugar will go in here on the day of And then the rest is coffee I don't need a fancy watch You can give the elves a break No, you can't make it in the shop And you can't put it on your sleigh You know me so well that nobody else can do what you do Your ribbon and bow I don't need that extra stuff Oh, I just want to fall in love Santa, I've been good this year Make your list and check